Hey, this is Dunky Blues Harp Coach. I got a rockin' riff for you that you're gonna really like. This one is all tongue blocking and octo splits. It's kind of little Walter esque, if you will. This is Quick Lick number 20. What do we need for it? We need a little juice. It's nice if you get the juice, it has a on off switch on the cord. Oop. Now we're working. You need a C harp? Here is Quick Lick number 20. That's it. That's the whole thing. So, what were we doing? Getting rid of the juice, just sticking with the heart. This is a tongue lock and octave split run. It starts tongue blocking at the three blow, and it goes from the three blow to the three draw to the four draw. Just like that. And then after that, the octave splits start coming into effect. Remember what the octave split was? It's that business where you uh, stick the tip of the top of your tongue onto two holes while the octaves mm, come out of either side of your mouth while your tongue is blocking the two holes in between the octaves. For instance, the first octave we're going to do is the 2-5 split blow. And the tongue is going to wiggle around into the right position. You just have to play with it a bit, okay, to get it. The right position to block out the three and the four hole. And then you're going to move up to the 3-6 octave split and block out the 5 and 6 hole. So it's starting to sound like this. That's more like it. Okay, so there's the two first octave splits that block out two holes. Now, on the draw side, once you get into the two D's, the four hole and the eight hole, you have to block out mm, three holes. Between the four and the eight, you're going to block with your tongue the five, six, and seven, uh, which requires you to bring the tongue a little further down onto the mouthpiece so that you can get those um, holes blocked out. So it's going to sound like this now. That's blocking out the five, six, and seven holes so that you can play the four, and the eight hole draw from your both sides of your embouchure. Once you get up there and do that, then we're going to switch back to the blow octaves to finish off the song. And there's a five eight blow octave blocking out the six and seven, and a six nine blow octave blocking out the seven and eight. So here we are slowly. but we're not finished there. Then we're going to come back down and hammer on hard onto the six blow tongue block. Nice sharp attack. And then we're going to just follow that down from the six blow tongue block to the five draw to the four draw to the four blow to the three kind of a little bit portamento, a little bent up so that you can go into the four five draw warble. But the four five blow, sorry, four five draw warble is also, if you open up your embouchure and do the octave split, the two three draw warble. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the four five for a bit, uh, and then opening up and playing the two three along with the four five to give it more dynamics and more swell and power. Yeah, that's it. So here it is. One last time with the juice. Get it. Go. Oh, you can do it. Come on. That's it. See? Not much to it when you really break it down. If you need help with this or any of the quick licks in the series, get a hold of me here, okay? And I'll explain all about Dunk's Blue Sharp coaching sessions. If you want to watch all of them, you know, without having to search all over the place for them, why don't you subscribe to my channel? It's got them all listed there, and you can just go down and pick out the ones you like. And I'd like to, you know, welcome you as a viewer. In the meantime, stop fooling around and practice, practice, practice. Practice hard so you can play easy. And we'll see you on the next quick